Hey everyone, James Hurst with The Marketing Show. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the difference between the white label domain and the API domain. Someone asked this question on my YouTube channel, and I thought it was actually definitely worth going over. So if you zoom in here, I'm on my uh, agency view, my company settings here. If I zoom in, you'll see they're very similar and there's quite similar spots. The instructions are right there uh, to set these up. But one is the white label domain, which is where you log in. And the other one is kind of where you generate these system links. This episode is sponsored by Extendly for High Level. If you haven't met the good folks over at Extendly, uh, you ought to take a look and see what they have to offer. They're one of the bigger support agencies in the high level space right now. So they, they have a snapshot store with completely crazy built out snapshots, uh, white label onboarding support and training, high level dashboard customization, as well as the Academy for High Level, Melissa and Stephanie Blair. So I had a chance to meet Bayant in person just recently in Dallas at the Sasspreneur event. We had a chance to get to know each other better. I've also been working with them and teaching and coaching in their Facebook group. And you may have seen some of my tips and tricks videos that I put on for them as well. So if you haven't had a chance to take a look at Extendly, go to getextendly.com. That's getextendly.com. Now back to the show. For trigger links, review requests. So let's take a look at the white label domain first. So in my case, it will be ddxweb.com that's where i have my sales page for high my high level where they log into now becomes the white label domain so app.ddxweb.com is where my clients log into my version of high level now let's talk about the api domain so the api domain is actually what you see here on trigger links you'll see it kind of like this trigger link and a bunch of special characters right well when that, when that workflow actually fires and renders as an email or a text, it gets translated into your API domain. So your clients actually might see this in their trigger links, in their review requests, and maybe a few other places in the app. So that's the difference. They, they are not interchangeable. They're not the same thing. One is for the API calls, kind of rendering these special links, and the other one is where people actually log in. So with that being said, guys, hope that helps clear up the difference between your API domain and the white label domain. Check out my links in the description below and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Hope you enjoyed the show. Advice given is for educational purposes only and may not be applicable to your business. You should know that the marketing show receives compensation through its affiliate relationship for the products and services it recommends. Thank you for your support and we hope to see you on the next episode of The Marketing Show.